Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy and today I have a grocery haul and meal plan for you guys. This meal plan is going to be from July 9th through the 15th and my grocery haul is going to be from Kroger this week. Even though I'm not doing a Walmart haul, my referral will be below in the description box. So if you're interested in trying the Walmart grocery pickup, you can use that referral code and get $10 off your first $50 purchase. Okay, this is my Dollar Tree meal plan binder. I will link that below if you would like to see how I made it because everything in here came from the Dollar Tree. Let's go over really quickly my meal plan for this week. This is the week of July 7th through the 15th. Again, I don't think these nails are ever going to come off, <laughs> but I digress. Okay, so Monday, we are going to have taco salads. We had a cookout last week for Independence Day, and we bought more hamburger meats uh, than we used. So I'm going to be making several things this week with the hamburger meat, the taco salad and a couple other items. So anyways, I had got some shells at Dollar Tree I wanted to use. So that's what we're doing here. On Tuesday, we're doing the Southwestern, I call them Southwestern Crunch Wraps. They're sort of a take on the Taco Bell, um, Crunch Wraps, <laughs> I guess. We sort of just incorporated it ourselves and made up the recipe, but this is absolutely delicious. The kids request it all the time, and it's probably one of our favorite meals right now. And speaking of the cookout, we had leftover hot dogs that we hadn't grilled out, so I want to use those and the buns before everything goes bad. So on Wednesday, we'll have hot dogs, chips, some veggies, and fruit. On Thursday the 12th, we're gonna do turkey subs and veggies, and I'll probably make an Italian pasta salad on this day too. I've made it and done a video on it. I will link that one in the description below if you'd love to see that, but that pasta salad is amazing, and I wanna get it made um, because it's just one of those things we like to have in the summer. So we'll have leftovers of the pasta salad, and we can eat that for lunch one day probably on Friday. And we've not had the KFC bowls. This is An Anchor Amber's recipe. Um, I will link that below also, but the KFC bowls are delicious. We probably have those twice a month because the kids absolutely love them. It's a really good recipe. You guys really need to check it out. And then on Saturday, we're just gonna do pizza and a salad. We try to do something quick and easy. This will be a homemade pizza, of course. And um, we'll probably also make the pizza bombs that I made in one of my videos. They love those with the pizzas. It sort of all goes together. And then on Sunday, I'm sure we will have leftovers because of all this. And then I just leave this blank down here in case I need to make any notes. So like on meals like this, if we want to tweak them a certain way or do something different, then I'll just make notes here or in the margins over here. That way, next time I go to make it, we'll remember um, what we liked about it or what we didn't and how we would fix it. But this is a great thing. This has saved us a ton of money and time and effort now that we do this. Of course, we don't follow it 100%. We switch things around all the time, um, just whatever's convenient for us. But we do have meals laid out and we have, you know, the foods here to make those meals. And the kids know exactly what's here. Then they can pick what they want each night. But more or less, we try to go by this. Okay, this is my Kroger haul for this week. I'm going to be utilizing a lot of the food we have in the pantry to try to clear it out, but there were some sale items at Kroger that I felt I needed to pick up. Okay, so here is everything that I picked up this week at Kroger. They had a pretty good sale. I mainly went for the Downy Unstoppables which were all gone. Those are my favorite beads ever. Scent boosters, but they were all gone. So I picked up Kerrigan, just one of the Arizona teas. She likes those. We are always buying milk and it is super cheap at Kroger compared to Walmart. I think it was like um, 
two dollars and thirty something cents if you can tell we go through a lot of drinks in this house so i picked up a five of the minute maids because they were on sale again this week for 99 cents i got three of the fruit punch and three two of the peach punch and they also had their V8 Splash on sale. So I picked up one of those to see if the kids liked them. And that one is the Fruit Medley. I believe it was like $1.29 or $1.49. I'm not sure. Picked up a thing of celery for snacking. And they also had this little tray for $0.99. Cents. It's got pretzels, tomatoes, carrots, and ranch in it. And that will probably be gone tonight. I mean, that's how fast those things go. Okay, so we're having crunch wraps this week. Well, I call them crunch wraps. Um, so I picked up some tortilla shells, and I also picked up two packs of the taco seasoning. They're only 39 cents at Kroger. So one of these is for the crunch wraps, and another one is for taco salads. Chris wanted some oatmeal. They were on sale again this week, so I picked three of those up. Fruit and cream, strawberries and cream, and blueberries and cream if you watch my channel you know how much cereal i have in this house but right now briley is on a kick and all she wants is the honey bunches of oats so i had to pay a dollar 99 for it this week and it about killed me because what was it two weeks ago i got them for 99 cents but she's already ate all of those and now i'm having to pay a dollar 99 for it they had pastas on sale. I love the Barilla, but it wasn't on sale. It was this brand, and they were four for $2. So I went ahead and got a fettuccine, a penne, an elbow, and a ziti. So at least I would have a variety. I picked up one of the marshmallow cream. So it's like the marshmallow fluff. They also had these on sale. I stocked up on these things because, I mean, school starts back in a month. It's so scary. But these are good to throw in the kids' lunches. So I picked up one of these. Quincy sees everybody else. Let me show you. Quincy. Quincy. Come here. Come here. Okay. So I picked up one of the Edmonds Little Bites, and this is a new flavor. It's in vanilla, and Briley loves these things. They were really cheap this week. And these were just 99 cents. So I went ahead and picked up one Fruit by the Foot and two of the Gushers. They had a ton of different varieties, so you could mix and match, and it was um, a digital coupon, so you could use it up to five times. And then this was their freebie, their Friday freebie. So Preston loves the regular Swedish, Swedish fish. This one's the tropical, so I thought I'd let him try them since he likes them anyways, and it was free. And this is something we rarely ever buy, bottled water, because we usually just use our Yetis and our Tarvises and fill them up. But Preston specifically asked for some bottled waters, I guess for the gym. So I went ahead and got him one of those. So the total on this was $31. I saved $22 thought that was a really good deal for all of that. I love Kroger, guys. Kroger is amazing. I picked up my bread from Dollar Tree for this week. I picked up one of the Nature's Own, and then I picked up two of the Cobblestone Sub Rolls. But I'd already showed those in a previous Dollar Tree haul, if you'd like to check that out. Yeah. 